Welcome to Down with Dragons Woo! on Monsters yeah. of Roll. Oh boy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. My name is Scott. I'll be your DM for tonight. Guys. Chris, I'll be playing Theobald. Mick, I'm playing Cal and Dan. Adam, I'm playing Loon Sensenome. So, we're going to start things off tonight. I'm going to give you a brief introduction of uh, the world that you're going to be joining us in. And uh, from there, we're going to jump right into this. So, let's get started. 1,500 years ago, the land was shrouded in darkness, and the lands were ravaged by vile monsters. The mortal races were near the brink of extinction. They had little choice but to come together to fight for survival, but they were little match. As the dark took over the land, the united mortal races were forced to withdraw from all their ancestral homes to the last remaining stronghold, Fort Locke, a cliffside fort on a top of a waterfall. The remaining peoples were facing the end, but in that darkness, when all hope was lost, the dragon gods came. The six dragon gods came down from the heavens and forced the darkness back. They led the people of the land in driving back the wicked creatures. At the end of the conflict, the dragon gods blessed six of the most worthy mortals with long life and wisdom to help guide and rule the people. Then they departed, returning to the heavens to watch over them. Those kings and queens took on the names and honor of the dragon gods to remind the people of the brighter future that lay ahead. With the new wisdom and leadership of the kings and queens, the six cities of the dragons have risen. Beacon, to the far east over the open plains and towering mountain peaks, a city, towering, uh, a city with towering spires and silver and frequent lightning storms that is dedicated to the dragon god Electa Valdon and led by King Electon. Hailstone, to the southeast in the brutal cold and snow-covered lands, a city seemingly made of pure silver and frozen in ice that is dedicated to the dragon god Firinus Corvus and led by King Firinus. High Anvil, to the northwest in the scorching deserts and mountains at the base of a volcano, a city of opulent gold and granite that is fueled with the lava flows in dedication to the dragon god Draconis, and led by King Dracon. Mirror Vale, to the western low forest valleys of mist and mystery, a city with jade roofs and marble columns, a city dedicated to the dragon god Sorvan de Caldas, and led by Queen Sorva. Sunder Keep, to the north in the plains and rocky lands on the coast, a city with high spiked walls and fine stone carvings, that is dedicated to the dragon god Salida Nansanan, and led by Queen Salida. Turin, to the south in the deep forests and mountains, a city seemingly grown from the trees themselves, that is dedicated to the dragon god Ternal Aza, and led by Queen Ternal. Then, at the heart of the continent, the seventh city, the one last bastion of the land and now rebuilt, a city dedicated to all the dragon gods, Built into the very cliffs of the waterfall of the once Fort Lock, now Dragon Lock. The city, a neutral territory for the kings and queens of the six great cities to come together and meet when needed, open to all the religions of the dragon gods, and main hub of trade and transport for the land. Here in Dragon Lock is where we begin our story. Deep within the Stones District, a section of the city built within the cliffs, deep within past the midnight lakes and seemingly star-covered ceiling of luminescent plant life, and the, through the many winding tunnels, a battle ensues. This is where we find our heroes. Welcome to the land of Karat. This is where we zoom in to a battle that is ensuing, and we're going to start off tonight with a skill check challenge. And the way I run a skill check challenge is I have a set DC that they unfortunately do not know. Yeah. <laughs> they have to get a certain amount of successes. In this case, it'll be seven. Ooh. Or fail by getting three failures. Hmm. Now, in this particular circumstance, 
you all already know the circumstance you're in, which is you are fighting in a dangerous still, but illusion of a chimera. I'd like everyone to roll initiative. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, as we establish our initiative, they will be using their skills, things that they are proficient in, to take their turn almost narrating the story. Instead of me just telling what happens, they'll actually be taking the initiative there and actually using their skills to describe what they want to happen. If they succeed, the things they describe happen, and possibly more so. If they fail, they potentially have created new dangers that uh, the other party members will have to face and overcome. The actual skill challenge will always change slightly in what their main objective is, but as long as the skills they are using further that objective, I'm pretty lenient on how they do things. Uh, tonight, it will be obviously introducing yourselves and beating this chimera. <laughs> so, can I get everyone's initiatives? Al and I have a 10. You have a 10, all right. Five. Five. 19. 19. Someone's right. going to start this party. <laughs> Moon will go first, then Callan, and then Theobald. <clears throat> now, in this particular scenario, they also have a assistant uh, party member, an NPC. Uh, her name is Seely. Uh, she's an artificer. Uh, and we like Seely. In this particular situation, <laughs> because they have an NPC that is assisting them in the battle, at any time, if they have a failure in a particular skill of either, either Arcana or Investigation, they can use that to re-roll. All they have to do is basically... Uh, Find a way to bring her into the re-roll of narration of how Silly helps them save the day and get that re-roll. Hopefully, though, they roll better that second time if needed. So, we are in the arena. A chimera stands at the center, turning its head's tail, cracking. Loon, you're up first. Um, yeah, what, uh... Describe it, what you look like and oh, then go from there as well. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, Loon stands about seven foot, four inches tall, um, pale gray skin, bald, um, no defining features particularly. Uh, he doesn't wear tattoos like Goliaths typically do. Um, the only thing really about him is he holds um, a quarter staff uh, and wears fairly plain, loose fitting clothing. Um, through it, up uh, through his tunic, you can see wrappings that cover most of his chest and shoulders. Um, yeah, not intimidating, but certainly a presence in the room. Um, and as I take that presence, I take that stance. Um, I'm trying to think, um, what is the general temperament of the chimera right now? I imagine it's not happy it's here. Oh, but... it, it very much it seems okay. like he wants to kill you. Can you describe yeah. a chimera for... People yeah. may not have seen him. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, this may uh, not be 100% traditional or straight, because mm -hmm. I, I will also say this is a homebrew custom world, and so there are some changes. Um, but it has the uh, head of a lion, yep. and it has the uh, uh, also adjacent head of a goat attached to it. It has the tail of a serpent, more like a scorpion. And... Uh, main body that uh, ends with the mane of like the lion but then goes into almost more like uh, eagle kind of uh, claws and appendages. Slightly different but it's it's still fairly similar. <laughs> okay. Um, yep. I would like to, <laughs> drawing on my knowledge of knowing how to survive in the wild apart from uh, violent predatory creatures, uh, I'm going to run in, try to incapacitate uh, any of the heads that seem to be the most violent. Okay, how are you doing this? Uh, with a survival. Survival, okay. Knowing which one to choose out of all of them. Oh, okay, yeah. So, okay. Let's sure. so have that first roll Ooh. of the campaign. Yeah, that's a total of nine. Nine, okay, <laughs> no. okay. All right, Rushing so. in, trying to find the right one, and... Uh... Yes, uh, so a as you uh, are gauging and trying to you know, estimate from uh, its movements, and you... you 
choose the goat head and you know heading towards that side of the body and as you move forward very quickly it doesn't even seem to completely look at you that tail comes across and sweeps your legs out from underneath you and you land crashing on your back Oof. that will be one failure yep sorry guys <clears throat> all right all right, it's all right. <laughs> mr callan oh so callan den is a young rakish lad who is normally pretty distracted looking and in fact right now he doesn't seem to be paying ample attention to the situation um so a chimera how many heads does this chimera two. has two this chimera has two heads yeah, remember, it is also an illusion as well. So yes. <clears throat> I don't think he paid attention to that part. Yeah, no, that's Callan, <laughs> Callan's not good at paying attention to things, um, right? So uh, we're in a challenge. Uh, he didn't pay attention when we were researching this challenge too much. Uh, and you guys are probably really frustrated at him because he's <laughs> not pulling his weight as far as getting prepared. But Callan will look around. And uh, assess uh, his uh, group. He's got his regular teammates, Theobald and Lunsensonome, plus Silly Grizzle, who uh, has plussed up the team. Hmm. Well, taking a look at that, uh, he um, just feels like maybe all we need is some music. Oh. So uh, he thinks... Maybe this magical flask that I got from this strange uh, person in the last illusion, maybe this would do the trick. And whether or not he actually hears the music, he is going to start to dance and kind of rev everybody up by saying, friends, we can do this. <laughs> As I'm Just on my look back. at how far we've come together. <laughs> I'm sprawled out flat. We just have to be smart about it. And then he starts singing. Cause when we use what's inside our foreheads, oh, there's just no way we should end up dead. When we're fighting a monstrosity. With an intelligence score of three. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to try to dance into position to uh, get in a good position for Yay. sneak attack using acrobatics. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. I, that's I that's how I thought that was going at all. <laughs> this felt so performance. <laughs> Ooh. So that is a uh, 22 altogether. 22. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Way better. That is uh, our first <laughs> that success. That was fantastic, man. man. Totally throwing me for a loop. <laughs> like, oh, this is clearly a performance check. Yeah. No, no, no. He's really all in. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm set for next round, man. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, um, whew. <laughs> I'm thrown off by just the direction that went. Um, yeah, so no, everybody hears uh, the, the, the lyrics and start, you know, Dude, this doesn't good. feel like the that right time, good, but you know, there's a beat here. And, you know, it was so good. I'll even say for a moment, you'll see above you after, you know, the tail cracks and whips yep. your legs and you fall on your back for a second. You see that tail just bob a little. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. There it is. One success, one failure. Yep. Theobald. All right. You are up. The music is uh, high in the air, and <laughs> Theobald just shakes his head. He's a human, short, rough-looking old man in worn old armor, uh, gray-haired, scarred, uh, typically with a bow in his hand, um, and an owl on his shoulder. Just a small. Uh, Gray and white speckled owl. So, uh, right. Kaloon is doing his thing. Lunsensonome is mulling it into a sense of <laughs> superiority. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to bark out. <laughs> totally we need to spread wanted. out, surround it. Don't let it focus on anyone. And I'm going to try to shift around. I'm not sure where I am in position to it. <clears throat> you tell me. Try to shift around to the side. Uh, I want to go on the lion side. Okay. The lion head side. Um, and if it is 
Let's see. I'm going to kind of shake out my whip. Mm -hmm. and just give it a crack and try to get the line's attention as I'm moving out to the side and kind of get it, try to get it to turn away from from these two. Okay. Go. So, ah, ah. Using... Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull out the chunk of meat that I prepared ahead of time <clears throat> with something I picked up from Leech last night. Mm. Oh, ah, leech. Kitty, 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 <clears throat> kitty, kitty. Trying to get his attention. I'm going to step in and I'm going to kind of toss the meat in front of the lion's face. Okay. So what skill? Uh, I, I don't want to assume sure. anything now. <laughs> I'm going for animal handling. Like I've animal seen handling. Uh, handling like the wild dogs in camp and and just some of those wild beasts. Just trying to get his attention and try to get to, to snap up this juicy chunk of raw meat that I threw in his face. All right. Sounds good. Let's see that roll. That is it. Eight. Eight. Oh, no. All right. That would be our second. Oh, please failure. don't fail me now. Hmm. All right. So as you <clears throat> circle and flank to the side and yelling, you know, kitty, kitty, come here, kitty. You know, it's like over here. Ha! Ah, you know, trying to get its attention. It does follow you. Mm -hmm. Gaze. Great, great, good. You pull Perfect. out that piece of meat <laughs> and it. Locks. <laughs> Toss it up and... <sighs> you ever seen a dog that you've hidden a pill inside of uh -huh. for a treat? Oh, and he's no. like... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> My dog doesn't do that. But <laughs> I understand the concept. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the entire chunk of meat comes flying out. Unfortunately, it... After getting a taste of it, sense something was wrong and spit it out. Okay. Still there, though. Okay. All right. Top of the, the round. Worst comes the worst. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have one success. Oh, man. I don't like this. Three failures. I don't like two this. failures. I don't want this to depend on me right now, guys. This is, <laughs> this is sudden death. If it makes you feel any better, uh. if you succeed... Uh. It's on the next person. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Next <laughs> I understand how so, this works. Like, and, yeah. and you need enough successes, it's going to come back around to you again, too. Yeah. That's the greatest part of this. No, no, we start all no, over. Pr yeah, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so watching it to get distracted, uh, I kick up off the ground, brush myself off real quick. Go, uh, just, that was not fair of you. And uh, rush in. Uh, and I'm just going to try and leap and, I don't know, grapple one of the heads just to try and yank it down using the acrobatics. Okay, so, yeah, I'm doing uh, some acrobatics to flip up and try to... <laughs> I did it! I did the thing! I did a nine with the thing! And it's great! It's great, guys! We got this! Oh, yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, yeah, so... So, nine total? Yeah, or nine total. Nine. <laughs> All right. It will be the third and failure. final failure. Wow, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was quick, guys. Good yeah, job. You guys. Good game, everybody. Yep, good game. Yep. Good game. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. That's the show. Um, I, I would like like to just say the DC was really low. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, what I, do you consider really low? Because <laughs> for our introduction uh -huh. and for our first skill challenge, wow, it was a twelve. <laughs> I think we need a reset. Let's reset the simulation. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, should I hit the technical difficulties button? <laughs> Hi, welcome back. I get to read that again. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So. Oh, that's it. You jump on its back. And as you grab onto the goat head, because oh. it's what you, you know get a hold of, because you kind of stumble as you're coming up. It moves. You grab hold. And as you do, you feel jaws clamp down on your shoulder and rip ah. you off to the side and you go skittering sliding across the sand and your back slams against the side of the arena pit you're in Callan you are still up mm -hmm. you have failed this challenge so I will work with that still <laughs> so you're up okay so you can still succeed but <laughs> it's not a success <laughs> sure I need to get a shot in here so i'm i have danced up this creature's back 
by its tail and I am going to use my sneak attack augmented by my investigation skill. Okay. But I have to accompany with more singing. So so that goes a little like, uh, you know, just like that man before head. You know Dagnar? Some people in these trials actually wind up dead. <laughs> but there's no way that should be me or you. Because four heads are better than two. <laughs> yes, four heads are better than two. Oh, sure. And that's my sneak attack. Okay. And I roll a... Oh! oh 20. Why? Nat 20? Yes! Nat 20. So that, yeah. like... That, that resets everything, right? I'll give you... <laughs> Reset the situation. I'll get, no, I'll give you... <laughs> for the sake of this, for pulling that out, I'll mm -hmm. get rid... Instead of it being automatic two successes, I'll give one success and remove a failure. Ooh. And you guys actually have a mm. full-on chance again oh, yeah. to succeed this challenge. When you have a song so in your heart. I'm so excited for this. Oh. Dude! <laughs> All right, so we've got now... <laughs> if I can yeah. kiss you right now... <laughs> So oh my as it gosh. turns and throws Loom across the arena, <gasps> you come running in and punctuate that note <laughs> and slide in your sword, driving deep into its flank. It roars <clears throat> and bleats, weird sound, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> All right, Theobald. Uh, while it's the creature has been wounded. <laughs> awesome! Finally, um, I'm going to be sending Owl to swoop past its head away from me. Okay. The line, just in case. I don't know how distracted it is, but I'm going to send it. Well, it seems a little distracted right now. Yep. So I'm going to send Owl just to make sure and kind of swoop that, get that eye line so it sweeps across away from me, and I'm going to stealth up to it uh, on the side and stab with a short sword. Sounds lovely. Why are you re rolling two? Uh, does it all give me an advantage? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah, I'll, allow, yeah, I'll, I'll they... allow it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, 12. On the button. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. All right. Yeah. Guys, that this will is be another. Harrowing, man. It's back to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, ah. your owl flies by, and as it just gets done roaring, it catches and turns right at that moment. Callan, you're right there, and it actually is turning in your direction. In that uh, moment, you're like, ah! Uh, and an owl goes streaking by, and from the other side, the other flank, another sword right, drives right. deep in. Oh, okay. I don't have a song. <clears throat> I, shake the, I shake my <laughs> no head song? and kind of pull no myself up off the wall. Okay, listen here, you large kitty. <laughs> and I go rushing across the field, trying to slide underneath its stomach, coming through, cracking its leg behind the knee, uh, the knee to bring its buckle it down, so that I can whip around and bring my staff up onto its neck, um, using my athletics. Okay, athletics. My God, I'm gonna, nope, nine. Another nine. Yes, another nine. It doesn't matter what I roll. My that dice does not want to deal me. Are you? How are you? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. That yeah. dice is gone. Yep. Huh? All right. It has failed me too many times tonight. Yeah. It gave me good event or good uh, initiative. You know what? Just for the sake of what's just happened, and man, guys, <laughs> I'll let you have. You would have had an advantage. It's very much distracted. I'll give you one more. I no, I just feel, one more dice. I feel. I feel like you just trying to. Okay. Come on. That is a nine plus two is eleven. Still just shy. Still just okay. shy. Mm -hmm. This is not meant for me. Mm -hmm. So as you come running in. No. Yep. Taking advantage of the situation, mm -hmm. you jump, coming down, driving with your quarterstaff, and that tail comes across again and snaps it in half, driving you back again onto the ground, rolling. Your staff taking most of the brunt of that hit, but now it's broken Shattered. and halved. Mm. Callan, mm. you are up. Uh, we have three successes, three, three failures, failures again. There's still potential for someone to pull this back out. We just need another nat 20. Okay, well, since I've danced myself up onto the top of the creature, I will kind of lay down in between his heads. 
and <laughs> say, <laughs> and in a sing-song voice, uh, let's see, what verse do I want to pull out on this one? <laughs> I would oh say, I lay down in the in between the chimera heads. Now, with more than your share of heads, you would think that you could think thoughts and have thoughts left to think. But you don't need four eyes c to combine oh, to see <laughs> <laughs> that four heads are better than three. And then I'm sleight of handing uh, the spherical device I got from Silly Grizzle into one of its oh. mouths oh. or head on top of its head. Oh. So here comes the, uh, which one was it? That was it the gem that you were supposed to deliver? No, or? this is the, the complete s spherical device. Oh, you told me, yep. remember D10. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> yep. Okay. Thank you. That's, Oh, dang, man. That is a 19 plus my sleight of hand, which is 25 altogether. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, um, roll me a d10. Okay. <laughs> mm, come on, silly. Don't let me down. That's a four. That is a four. Four's, that... four's the best one on that table, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's just the best. It turns into an accordion. <laughs> just what I needed. <laughs> the wide mouth goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. The situation. Oh, sure. God. So, <laughs> you, you say, uh, sing what you sing. I will not repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Slam it down, right on top of the lion's head, and as you do. You hear a whirring, and you can actually feel the device spinning in your hand. And then all of a sudden, from out from it, these mechanical armaments come out and latch down. And then all these ropes go and start to wrap and start to constrict and try to tie up the actual chimera. Mm. Mm. Wow. Cool. That will give you four successes. Still at three losses. No. But the, ne the next roll does have advantage for the simple fact of it is it's now dealing with up, yeah. getting it's it's in the process. It's still very strong and ripping them away, but more of these ropes keep shooting out and coming back together and starting to constrict. Wow. Well done. Yeah. Uh, wow. I forgot about that one. I had to uh, <laughs> yeah. At I first I was thinking the gem. I'm like, oh, I know what that does. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, I still have that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, I don't forget about those little trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, these are uh, little things from just a few uh, pre-games that we had. Uh, setting things, getting used to playing. Yep. and <laughs> These are a few little trinkets they got along the way. <laughs> so, Theobald... I am going to uh, see it seems to be thrashing its head around. Mm -hmm. Curse. Curse. <laughs> Scoop up a chunk of meat on my way back up to the head, towards the head. I'm going to be trying to judge, watching its movements, judging, and it seems to be distracted, and I'm assuming it's roaring, kind of trying to snap at this thing. That's oh, yeah, it's, it's 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 thrashing around, making quite the ruckus. <laughs> shove the meat, like, time it, using my insight into what its next move is going to be, time it, shove some meat down its throat, and try to pull my hand out, or at least just shove it, shove the meat into its throat. Try to get my hand out again. Yeah, so what are you using? Insight. Insight. Jiu-jitsu, kind of just trying to see what its movement is. Try to time that moment just right and throw it in. Okay. Yep. I'll let you have it. Good. With advantage. Yep. Because right. it's very much. Uh, Come on, Chris. And I'm. Come on, Dibble. Guide Anchiam Miam. Maiden, guide me. I'm going to throw some guidance on this as well. Okay. And I need the guidance. Need Two the sixes. Guidance. Two sixes. Oh. So six, seven plus six is 13. <gasps> 13. That was a success. Oh boy! Mm. Wow! <laughs> I think I think uh, I think Callan's kind of carrying us here, man. Yeah. 
right. So, do I get my hand back? Well, you never said you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a, as you is my hand you're clear watching, during snap. You're watching its movements and figuring out like when and like right as you see one of the ropes start to spin out, you know it's going to go for one of the legs, and that's when you make your move. Rope ties around, it stumbles, goes down onto a shoulder, and right then you slide in, jam it in, and yank out right as a clack. It's in. Loon. Yeah. We are back to you. I'm watching this mess, staring at my now broken quarter staff. Disgustedly, I toss it to the ground. I'm going to send um, Owl his direction just to uh, <laughs> do something. I get. get I, uh, <laughs> um, Another combatant has entered um, the ring. That, <laughs> <laughs> that tail is my bane right now. And so I'm going to take a look at it just for a second to try and pinpoint where a weak point is in a, like a joint okay. and try and use a double fisted attack to incapacitate it for at least a moment um, using a medicine check. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, for the simple fact of you know mm -hmm. this particular creature is an illusion, mm -hmm. I'd be more leaning towards Arcana, but I will still, I can allow, I'll still allow no, it. I'll still I, allow it. Okay. Yeah. I, it, if that's a problem, I can switch yeah. it to acrobatics just to get to get over there in time to avoid the tail as it's swinging around. No, you're still okay. Okay, uh, I was right. just kind of clarifying. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm rooting Thank for you guys. You. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, did you put the uh, D6 Bane that's already on? No, just <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That is another success. Okay. <laughs> so we have six successes, uh, three failures. Um, so you, you watching, throwing down those halves of the quarter staff. What is Watching its movements as it's you know starting to get free and it's running out of ropes coming down. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's whatever wind up machinery was involved in this it's losing its charge and it's slowing down watching and looking and you can see from the two deep wounds that are already on it where it's favoring its balance and come in running going right for like a good kidney shot right next to one of the deep slashes in mm -hmm. its side and bam hand goes in and actually slides into one of the wounds a little bit Oh, <laughs> forcing more damage into that wound. All right, Callan, okay. you're up. Just need that 20, man. All right, so... Yeah, you just need a 20 and get rid of that. You know. <laughs> Silly Grizzle is here, right? She is here, yeah. You guys can bring her into the narration anytime you want. Okay, us. so right on. Uh, you know, do my companions still... Are they still not able to see uh, my little moss friend? Uh, your moss friend. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, since then, because you've had a full day, mm -hmm. in the next morning when you went to your moss friend, it's just a piece of moss. Oh, he, because we've been having chats. Is, mm -hmm. He's not talking anymore Doesn't for seem, weeks? He seems like it'd be a piece of moss. Oh. Like, you remember everything, but it was like, but now he's mm. a little stubborn or something. You know, he just seems like moss. Hmm. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Well, now I have to have a little interlude because uh, that's that's kind of disturbing. I was <laughs> hoping my little moss friend would uh, cheer me up there. So, all right. So I am targeting uh, Silly Grizzle with a deception to say, Oh, Silly, your device isn't working properly. Can you uh, check it out? The thing that went off on the Chimera. Mm hmm um, knowing that she tends to blow everything up that she gets close to. <laughs> Don't warn us before you right? So I'm doing it right there. Clear. <laughs> so <laughs> and I will accompany Sweet. that with uh, with an interlude. She goes, hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess my lost my friend. But it's time to get excited. We all got tickets to this show, but Death, you ain't invited. Yeah. Team's about to manhandle the entire monster manual, and if they meet a villain, you know they're going to fight it. For those 
Fat rewards and treasure hoards. Yeah, we're about to get that gold with my unlikely companions, Big Loon and Theobald. Ain't no chimera gonna scare you when you got the help of Silly Grizzle. This party's about to be a blast for shizzle. <laughs> and that roll is a... <laughs> 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 With advantage, because oh, why not? Yeah, oh, why not? <laughs> oh, okay, so that's a sixteen. Sixteen. Yep, that's How long success. did you spend on all this? No, this is all Scott's fault. He railroaded <laughs> me into this. I did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, come on now. Yeah, a multiple-headed monster, and then we're adding another party member. The song practically wrote what itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I take full responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. And then you God. sent that you sent that link with the inspirational music and stuff. It's like, oh, yeah. I have to now. Yeah. Okay. No, okay, it's yep. per, some clever railroading. Very obvious. Yeah, uh-huh. well, this happened now. You I've, saw right through me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you're 16. That is another success. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, as you say that, Celie just, and, and she's still, I mean, got that shock of hair standing on end, almost like a perpetual someone's, you know, put a penny in a light socket. <laughs> and goggles, coat pockets everywhere. She says, oh, right, right, right. And she goes running up. Pulls out a small wand with a crank on it, it looks like. And she just starts... <laughs> and she goes and drives it into the top of the little device. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody. Oh, no. Pick me a constitution saving throw. Constitution? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not awful. That's not awful. I'm telling you, this was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> 15. Okay. Right. okay, 15. <laughs> 15. 15. 4. Oh, Four. no! <laughs> All right. So. It means he's drunk, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you all, like, see this moment. As Celie, with her hair poofed up, running, driving this cranked up wand into the device. And you can, for that moment, when you hear, like, all the sound of the chimera just roaring and its movement and the ropes tearing free, you hear this sudden sound. And a, like, old-fashioned, like, the, the picture bulbs go, ping. Oh. That's what everyone hears. Oh, no. And then everything's white. Mm. <laughs> You're all staggering around, staggering around, look, just trying to clear your vision. As you do, you will see the arena now is void of a chimera. You'll be looking around. You'll, I mean, you have got spots in your vision. You'll see sitting crisscross applesauce sitting in the middle of the arena. You'll see Silly sitting there trying to piece together this device that is just falling apart. You'll see on the outskirts along the top of the wall, it looks all burnt. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You'll see all the robed figures at the top that you normally know who are the ones helping the illusion have actual physical. Uh, uh, they're all getting to their feet, also <laughs> stumbling, ah. holding their heads. You'll see Theobald on the ground unconscious. Oof. <laughs> oh, oh, no. there he goes. <laughs> Again. Uh, Again. <laughs> but you will see one other person who is getting to his feet, the large, you know, six and a half foot half orc Dagnar oh, oh. standing up and he I mean he looks just as dazed as everyone else and just <laughs> uh, great you are hired <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you but she's got a job <laughs> that will nice. end your skill check challenge which um yeah. You got enough successes. You had a good, 
is he a nat uh, 20 in there? Some interesting uh, B squad. Interesting B squad, uh, B squad, yeah. lyrics. B squad. <laughs> um, so at this point, since. The white clears out, and we see everyone. Yeah, out you there? Get, like it's coming to okay. you. Yeah. The only person who's down, down is Theobald. Okay. And I would be rushing so, straight over to him. I mean, little, I little unfinished business here. So, ba 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 four heads. <laughs> One two three four heads are better than two. Yeah. Kalan, do you not see our friend over here? He is having a few issues. I don't think it is time for singing. Archers, <laughs> take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm rushing over to get it, try and help him up. Okay. Uh, so he's stabilizing whatever. Give me a medicine check. Oh, just okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, I, I, they don't want none of them. Nine, nine, I don't nine. know if I want you rolling your dice. None out. of them want me to do good. <laughs> it's like, oh, it looks like you're so sharp there. in you. Let me push it. You in don't deeper. want me to. Do that. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying this one. Statistically, though. they all have the absolute same chance of being <laughs> Shut horrible up. for you. Shut up! <laughs> Let me believe. <laughs> no, okay. weren't you just shaving your dice earlier? What's going on? So you get to him, <laughs> and you're, you're kind of trying to, you know, check a pulse and you know, put your finger under his nose, and it, he's I'm breathing. I'm still clearing and, uh, that. Yeah, and you're a little discombobulated yourself still. Like well. there, there's no question and. Yeah, he's alive, but you don't know exactly why he's unconscious. Damn boy. Uh, Damn boy. <laughs> so, yeah, a couple slaps in the face. Uh, you will see that there's a little blood trailing out of oh. his ears. Oh. Uh, and when you do start to open your eyes, you see this, you know, large hulking Goliath <laughs> above you. And what you I see is this. <laughs> <laughs> All you hear is <laughs> that saving private Ryan yeah. moment, you know, where it's just like, oh wow, you know. <laughs> oh boy, mm. he's woken up. He's there. Oh, okay, and I stand up and I try to help him up a little bit. <laughs> uh, you missed the show. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking for the chimera. <laughs> okay, once again from the top, everybody. <laughs> Doors open. Where? Uh, where to go? Where's my sword? <laughs> it's okay. We took care of it. Uh, blinding white flash. You found chimera gone. He's. Uh, hello? You. The, oh. <laughs> That's not supposed to come from there. That was there before. <laughs> <laughs> what? The six gods' names, you two babbling. I can't hear you. Speak up. Oh. <laughs> I'm just sad about little Mossy. Oh, uh, no. So you make your way out of there. Yeah. The you uh, come back into that main gathering room with all the tables, the bar in one corner. This is sad. Uh, you'll, you'll see there that, uh, the other group, uh, with, uh, the, uh, uh, the elven, uh, wizard, uh, uh, thinking of her name, Talsia, Talsia. It's, it's NPCs that Maelstrom. I can't remember. That's Maelstrom. great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the drag, the dragon, dragoon knight, uh, and uh, the tiefling, who you guys have spent zero time inquiring about, so we'll just keep him as the tiefling. Yep. And uh, uh, Finley were the last <coughs> ones. Their group is about to go in. Uh, and as they're kind of, kind of, you can just see they're getting pumped up, you know, mm -hmm. getting ready. And can Seely give her, give them something too? <laughs> Uh, Seely like, kind of coming up behind you, and just she's like, she's like, um, can you give them something to help them? What's wrong with him? I, um, I'm, I the bleeding from the ear. I am fairly certain that he has concussed through his uh, eardrums. They he's really out. old. At, <laughs> that one too. Yeah, yeah. He he look um here. Uh, she starts to dig around, and they look like the equivalent <laughs> of. Uh, like foam uh, earplugs. That's what they look like. Just a pair of them. Like, Swallow these. Can, can he hear you? And she just like holds them out to you, Theobald, and just like... I, 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 no, <laughs> oh, 
hold on. If he's, <laughs> I take them and I stuff one in his mouth and I do like the dog thing with my hand and the throat <laughs> massage. <laughs> He cannot hear. He needs this. Trust me, I know it looks violent. <laughs> Roll me just a sleight of hand real quick, just to see how quick this... Oh, oh my how, God. how fast oh, you're able oh, to... I don't have a negative. <laughs> Fifteen! Fifteen. I do not want anything okay. she had going down me. Roll me in a... Try to uh, fight this off. Uh, oppose uh, dexterity save. <laughs> dexterity save? That's... Please, maybe please. better, maybe 18. worse. Eighteen. So, 17, yeah, his, 17. 17. 17. Uh, he, so. His hand comes in, and you see, and he is just, come, no, it's for your own good. <laughs> Silly keeps walking. Oh. After, <laughs> oh, yeah, she got hired. Dagnar comes in uh, and immediately just walks straight over to Silly and starts, you know, kind of taking her to the uh, side yeah, yeah. and walking with her and hmm. talking. And, and uh, Talcia actually is looking at you and kind of looking in and, uh, like, you see Finley, the little uh, gnome who starts to move to, towards the door. Dagnar kind of stops her. He's like, um, th they're going to need a moment or two. Uh, th this one uh, really did a number in there. <laughs> <laughs> and keeps walking with her. And so they're all kind of, okay, league. you know, a little wait. And Talcia kind of league. <laughs> look at all of you. He's like, how, how did it go? Uh, truthfully? Uh, what? Not the Terribly well, but we did do the job. Yeah, we finally got rid of Silly Grizzle. <laughs> I don't know if he truly knew what was going on in there. We never know what he is thinking. Okay. Uh, it was a good show. Very good. Oh, good. Were you watching? No, we were out here now. He is a performer. Did you know that he sings songs? I'm not surprised by the things I've seen him act like already, to be honest. He's fantastic. And I... Yep. She'll kind of just turn away and go back to, you know, her group getting ready. Still looking at my flask and stuff. Are you still trying to force feed me this? A few, no, I gave no, up on that. All right, great. A few moments, like over the course of the next five or so minutes. You, you can't hear you me. You start to, like that ringing <laughs> starts to go away a little bit, and you're starting to hear muffled words and sounds from the room and... You're, you're, you're starting to come back. <laughs> I think after a minute, I would have realized what I was doing. And then, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm going to start miming, like, taking it and trying to give one to you. And, like, <laughs> it's I for your own on. good. For the goodness of your oh, for, no, Just take the thing. <laughs> you take it. There's two of them, right? Yeah. I'll take one and I'll give one to him. <laughs> All right. Roll me a constitution save. Oh, <laughs> Seven plus two, nine. Nine. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. We'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not eating, I'm no. not eating this. I'm not eating this. Goliath yeah. pinata. Just, it's, it's, like, it's like the baby thing. You take a little bit. I'm not giving it to him either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll eat I'll anything. Just <laughs> put it in my yeah. pouch. Mike will eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bar. Oh, no. Yeah. Stroll up to the... You get, you're starting to get, you know... Okay, yeah. You lean on the bar. Is it a nice, dirty bar? Do you not yeah, trust yeah, me? Good. Very, right. very sturdy. <laughs> Theobald, why you not trust me? What? Do, uh, your ears. You need to take the thing for your ears. Mm. Uh, fine. I'd turn around. It's a getting little. better. <laughs> <laughs> About this time. Uh -huh. um, you're going to start, like, as he says, it's getting better. You're going to hear it uh -huh. in your bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, right now it doesn't hurt or anything, but it's just like almost like a full body vibration of just like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can feel the earth's movement. Are you okay? Do you need a drink? Ah, no, no, none of that. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. You want another song? Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the most fantastic and terrifying experience I have ever had in my life. What? Oh! <laughs> this will go on for a little bit. <laughs> Your hearing coming back, realizing his hearing is way more. 
<sighs> Some torture. <laughs> <laughs> Advantage on all the hearing checks for the next hour. <laughs> About uh, probably 20, 30 minutes or so. Dagnar will come back. Silly's gone. Uh, you'll see him walk over to the other group. Mm. He'll kind of usher them in. <laughs> shut the door. Look to all of you. So, what you did was not uh, completely horrible. Um, <laughs> unorth. <laughs> what is wrong with what? him? Uh, he's <laughs> practicing dance moves. <laughs> Dagnar, can you yeah, battle yeah. master? Can you speak up? Okay. Um, <laughs> I can hear just <laughs> fine, but uh, oh, he gets it. I am sitting, <laughs> sitting on the floor. I'm gonna go. This has been the worst. I am going to the watch the next fight. Are coming He's smiling. My <laughs> I'm gonna watch that next fight. <laughs> Nodding. I can so hear him. I can hear him. Okay. So you're giving us a good review. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly do not know. It was very entertaining. Um, I, will, I will give you I that. Become a part uh, of. We will. Um, I'll, I'll leave the uh, decision uh, uh, up to Basil, <laughs> and uh, he'll he'll know better of what to do with you three. I am cross legged on the floor, out. gripping my <laughs> knees. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for coming out, Dagnar. <laughs> yeah. All of this, and as he even walks away, now that you're on the floor holding your knees, it. you can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next fight will go on. Next fight. After a little while, you'll start to come out of come out of it. I think I have done more drugs in my two days here than I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Um, for some reason, I just. Uh, Decided I needed to tune some instruments too. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, how does this? Sound? <laughs> and and I am getting really good at it, where oh, I I can no. tune it by how you react. Oh, so man, I know. <laughs> that's, that's the note. I know. I'm <laughs> all I'm thinking about with you guys torturing him. <laughs> Well, like, I feel uh, so bad for him. Baked. It's like you ever looked at a two dollar bill? You ever looked like a two dollar bill? Oh, we. <laughs> yeah, that's about where I feel like you guys are at. Dude. All right. I so can feel next sounds. fight will uh, go on. You'll hear a lot of bangs and booms and cracks of thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I am having an awful a time. Horrible yeah. time. By the time I the fight's over, you're silent. I, I heard fun. that. Okay, okay. Come here, the see. door opens, and you'll see uh, the others come out in varied conditions again. You'll see uh, the tiefling. Looks fine. Uh, looks like he's got a few uh, rips and things that weren't there before, but hmm. he's fine. Uh, Talsia looks pristine in her yeah, normal self. You know, she looks good. And she looks Aww. a little head shirt, too. Like, feel good. Uh... The dra Dragoon Knight, in all of his armament, uh, has a broken sword now. Mm. Ooh. But, still seems overall fine. Seems like uh, some singed armor. <laughs> Capes ripped in half. Mm. Uh, huh. Gives you all a nod. And kind of hasn't really spoken much to anybody. Nice. Moves off. And then you'll see... Two medics. <laughs> oh, Finley. Oh, no, he got so head sure. <laughs> oh, fearless. With a gurney. <laughs> oh, no. And a small little gnome <laughs> who is near burnt out of his clothes, practically. <laughs> oh. That shock mohawk of blue hair is now just stubble of burns. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and they usher past. And all you hear is like, did I get him? <laughs> and he's out, down towards the medical way. Oh, I feel so bad. I need to uh, bring back an old friend of his and <laughs> use the voice of the barmaid that I dressed up <laughs> as uh, to fool him earlier uh -huh. and say, oh, I'll wait for you, Fairly Finless. <laughs> oh, <that's> so <laughs> Of course, I roll high for his perception. Gosh. And 
Do so I need I, to make a roll? Or? No, no, no. Oh. oh, no. It was just to see if he heard you. And <laughs> I, of course, rolled high. Mm-hmm. And you'll, he was like, did I get up? And I'm like, I'll wait for you. <laughs> Finley. Or what did you call it? Like, Finley. Fairly Finless. Fairly, yeah, that's right. And he's just like, Finley! <laughs> Finley! The name is Finley. <laughs> Little trails off weeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make it just a, one, a save for his overall. Oh. No, he might be a little broken inside. Oh, now. what a little have you broken. Done? <laughs> it's okay. No. Wait, he had to save from that heart. <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of things going on. He was very fragile, and you took advantage of him in that moment. You monster! <laughs> what kind of save is heartbreak? Oh no! If I can. Trying to convey what you just did. Uh-huh. If you've ever pay- played a Telltale game, oh yep, Finley will remember that. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you just created your own destruction. He is the new NPC who will be your death. The B-B-E-G. He is the bad guy of the campaign. Yep. <laughs> well, at least we know who he is now. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Later on, you know, you'll be getting a text like, "This is yeah. weird." No, they keep the tab. Oh my this- God! I know who it is. <laughs> Oh, wait, I don't know who it is. What's his name? <laughs> oh, that'd be a ho- Like, that'd do Ooh. something to uh, a bad guy who just mm. keeps... Uh... No! <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> How do we got that taken care of? Dagnar comes back in, walks up to kind of all of you that are assembled there throughout the room. Yep. And to look at all of you and... All right. So, we had uh, some good showings today. Um... Some more straightforward in what we would traditionally look at and kind of gesturing to the others. <laughs> and a little more on the orthodox uh, methodology, uh, but still, creature is gone. Um, so, the night is yours. Do as you will, and he'll pull out a small pouch, and he'll lay down ten gold in front of everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Tomorrow, come back here, and the our leader will decide who is and isn't going to join us. Till then, try to keep yourselves together and not kill each other. Mm. Till tomorrow, and he'll walk off. Uh, you'll see immediately, uh, Talcia will just walk out of the room. She's, she's gone. Uh... The uh, actual uh, tiefling uh, will kind of walk and move over towards the uh, knight, and you'll see him, you know, quietly exchanging a few words. They've gotten to know each other a little bit through just being in proximity. What are you guys doing? Hmm. I am uh, absolutely depressed that my uh, little chunk of gooey moss is not talking to me anymore mm-hmm. and uh i i have that apparently magical flask of whatever it is uh and i'm looking at that because the last time i used it uh it talked to me mm-hmm. and it ended up helping me out to heal theobald and i'm wondering how much more is there to this? So I'm just talking to the flask and pondering whether I should. Uh, Come on, let's go see if we can get Lincensen when drunk. Uh. <clears throat> okay, oh. now I'm not doing that anymore. Higher <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Hire> calling. <laughs> well, after the ten gold, I I would already be taking stock of myself and uh, help him up off his feet. Wait. Oh. And I'm chasing after because he's the one we got the weapons from before, right? Originally, yeah. Yeah. Thank God, I, 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 I happened to break my weapon inside of the ring. Um, these ten gold, do you think it would buy me something new in the armory? He stops, doesn't turn around right away, just seems <laughs> irritated. <laughs> one of these plebes are talking to me again. <laughs> Turns around and pretty much almost eye-to-eye, oh, looking yeah. up slightly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yes. You, you you broke that, I see. Um, no, no, no. I did not break. 
It was broken. <laughs> it was broken. <laughs> and, uh, yes, if you prefer to, I mean, use that gold for that, uh, it was kind of a, uh, a nicety that we did to, uh, you know, beverage and all. But, hey, use oh, it for I what you want. want. In, in, in um, if you are actually accepted fully into the guild tomorrow, we will send you to the Cloud Fang. And you will potentially be able to rearm there as well. Ah. Well, perhaps I will wait then. Uh, thank you for your time, Master Degnar. And I will nod to him and uh, exit. All right. Back the other way. I was right next to him, and then I'll just kind of hang. Back uh -huh. and just talk to Dagnar. <laughs> so as he Pretty walks away, watching, and then looks <laughs> down at you and just like... Because I, I kind of admire half works for some reason and uh pretty sweet gig huh <laughs> how's the the health plan <laughs> Just, you know chatting him up Callan, Just, I am see if i can get anything uh health 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 plan um I keep walking. while you're at one of our actual um facilities free rest booze hmm. equipment uh, discounted um hey, you don't die hey you get paid good hmm. you die hey you don't need to worry about health plan hmm. <laughs> you're not wrong okay <laughs> thank you have a nice day and then i'll follow lynn sentinel you get about 10 feet away and you hear, getting better now. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> so, where are, you, uh, you, where are you heading off to? Where where are you thinking? Like, uh, just a bar? I've got to know or... a bar somewhere on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me, what kind of bar are you looking for? Are you looking for just a nice quality, like, dive no, bar? Are yeah, you for... yeah, let's find something with some activity and just really shake the sense of up here. You know what? You would know the perfect place. Wait, 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 wait. You're trying to take me with? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. Um, Come on, new friends. Yeah. New, <laughs> here, here, yeah, new friends. Maybe we'll find a new staff for you. Come on. I am worried about following with you. You don't already. have to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, I know, Come on. I know this. It'll be an experience. Uh, Let's go. Oh, yeah. Fine. So you'll, mm. I kind of, my, my do you know anybody? Do you know tired. anybody else in the in the city? No, but for the most part, Come I'm on. able to. Uh, By the way, uh, just for the fact of, I don't think anybody, or at least I know you didn't, and I don't think you did. What are your classes? I don't think you actually stated that oh. for the introduction. Hmm. Um, I'm a monk. Monk. I am a. Uh, I I think they know, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue. <gasps> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, they're like no. I was I was teasing. I know you're a rogue, but it's still the fact of like bard. Uh, no, you're not a bard. <laughs> so wherever we go, though, I would be kind of looking around because the circumstances under which I found myself at the guild hall applying to be a heroes guild member uh, were not entirely intentional. So I am looking around for any scale bound one. guild. The Scalebound scale Guild. Bound. Yep. Okay. That's uh, the guild? That is the guild's the name, Scalebound. Scale yep. Yeah. I'm looking around to see if any remnants of that are following me or, you know, visible. Of who's visible? Sorry, I was... Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I kind of snuck into the guild uh, and ended up applying oh that way i'd okay, always yeah. meant yeah. to but yes. you know the t this time scale got advanced way <laughs> yeah way yeah. fast uh so uh, you know a little bit of criminal activity might have happened um and i ended up there mm -hmm. so i'm just looking around yeah keeping your roll me a perception check mm -hmm. it's a 18 minus 2 16 what i notice he's being a little weird um <laughs> weirder than in usual baseline i'm gonna say or... just that baseline <laughs> yeah 
No. No. <laughs> no you guys haven't spent nearly enough time <laughs> okay, to really enough. gauge, like, oh, you're being particularly weird today. You know? <laughs> You've had pretty much less I than I suppose he's talked to hours. boss and, like, other weird... Yeah. yeah. Okay, You've seen a wide that was array a, yeah. of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep. you, you, yeah. What'd you roll? He starts ta- acting total. stone 16. cold sober. Yeah. <laughs> then we worry. <laughs> yeah, but he's not yeah, doing. If you see him tomorrow morning with tea he's just and glasses, sitting down, there, gentlemen, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who he's are you? <laughs> sitting there quietly, not doing anything weird. Yeah, yeah. okay. Then we were chapter two. <laughs> chapter two. <laughs> Love it. So far, you're not seeing anything uh, out of the ordinary. You're used to these streets too, uh, and you've got kind of a little bit of a sixth sense for. Mm-hmm. eyeballs on you you know and uh you're not you the back the hairs on the back of your neck aren't standing you're not seeing anybody clearly who's as you kind of go through these winding tunnels of uh the stones district it's not like that person's been following us non-stop you're not getting any of that right now oh, good nice to take a breath yeah um theobald is uh kind of leading the way i'm guessing a little bit uh you'll have heard of this particular bar as well you'll make your way down through the winding tunnels down to the midnight lake uh i am clueless starry uh plant life like um, luminescent fungus and stuff on the ceiling so it looks oh. like a starry night sky deep underground in these tunnels would that fungus be something i'm familiar with uh, at this distance it looks like stars it, okay it, yeah it's, it's, it's like it's, this like the Stones District is a lot yep. of winding tunnels yep. that then all of a sudden open up into like what the equivalent of like imagine just walking through a large like streets mm-hmm. with shops and things like that where the actual ceiling goes way higher and it opens up. Yeah. But then you'll leave like one little quarter and start going through tunnels <laughs> again. This would be the equivalent of the docks. Mm. Uh, to describe uh, Dragonlock a little bit more specifically for everyone who doesn't know, um, Dragonlock is actually constructed uh, because in the middle of the continent of Karat, there is a cliff that is over a thousand feet tall that literally from east to west divides the entire continent through very significant elevation change. At the top is the uh, river district. As you'd be sailing in from the higher uh, part of the continent coming down river to Dragonlock, it is a much fancier, nicer area of the actual city. We're not going there. Once you come in, <laughs> you would actually see a very large uh, sculpture uh, carved into the rock of a dragon's maw open. You'd sail your boat directly in into a, an elaborate lock system. So go in, the door shut. The water then drains down into the Stones District, where you'd come out into a very large lake underground to where all the docks are. This is where main part of the trade is done. People are offloading there, lo- you know, loading, taking on goods. From there, then they'd go back into the lock system and go down to the Shores District. From there, that is kind of more of your kind of more slums, uh, lower, lower end class uh, living and things like that, which would bring you back down to that lower elevation and you'd sail on to the other cities and down river. Um, the only other district of the actual city is the cliffs district, which is the high society area. And those are all elaborate Mm -hmm. mansions that are built (laughs) along the actual upper cliffs of the actual city. So those are the four main districts of the city. Um, it is ruled by a council, uh, and there is a high chancellor and other and uh, specific counselors for each district that represent the district. Uh, that being said, you are down by the Midnight Lake, and you're going to the Dark Tides Inn. It is mostly a bar that a lot of like your working class sailors, people coming going. It's a very large bar primarily there are some rooms that uh can be done but it's very kind of lower end it's a room that normally is shared between other people unless you're paying for the whole room Mm. um once you get in there it is packed i mean there are people everywhere there's multiple actual 
uh, half crescent bars in different areas. There, uh, and the bars are actually uh, built up and hanging from the ceiling. So you've got these iron bars that come down and hang on to the bar and it's half crescent and from that you've got like the twisted iron that goes up into the stools so when you actually sit at the bar you're actually suspended, suspended off the ground that's cool very neat part of this is also if you look and everything they're also attached to different uh kind of contraptions allowing it to move so they can literally change the layout of their bar depending on what they have going on you'll see the layout of this particular night you're very much aware i don't know how often you might have been in here i assume you probably had at least once or twice um tonight is a pit fight mm. so they have a small arena very small for one-on-one -on -one, two on two type Fist of cuffs battles. People are betting, gambling. There's, I mean, it's a lot of people, a lot of, you know, anything you want pretty much here, this is a place to do it. Also, you know, this is also one of your places where if you have the right connections, there are people who can get you things you need, black market connections, things like that. You for sure know that. Mm. Okay. Hey, Whether or not you've been here often, you know this is a place that has connections. Yeah. Debold, I know you have convinced me to come this far. I do not know if I am comfortable with these amount of people. It's uh, and I'm backing back out towards the door again. Like you guys got me in easy, here and I'm it's not easy, having it's easy, this. It's easy, easy. We'll find Ooh, a nice quiet corner. Uh, where, where do you see a <laughs> quiet corner in this establishment? People Relatively are people. Quiet. Why? What is your problem with people? There is nothing wrong with people. There is something wrong with people in this size of an amount. Hmm. This is too much. Why have you decided to do this to me? It's educational. <clears throat> I suppose for the fact of education, I can... <laughs> Perhaps there are people in there who don't know of the open way. You don't know of the open way. Ooh. Uh, you're looking for a new staff, right? Maybe. No, 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 no. Dagnar said he could get me new staff in the morning. Should we be part of the group? Okay. In the other sense, I have 10 gold. I should be able to buy a new stick. Consider it people watching. Well, here you could get a black market stick. What is this black market you're speaking Oh, of? it is wonderful, Loon Sensenome, let me tell you. Oh, I, I'm going to go I, try to find a spot with three As chairs. long as we're opening up your, your okay. worldview here. Looking for a table or at the bar? I, perhaps you should table. show me to this black market. This is intriguing. Can I perceive a table? Doesn't it I'm sound just, exciting? Yeah, there's still tables. I, right now, there, especially with the fact they have a fight going on, yep. there's a lot of Everybody's tables up that around have been... The, so yep, yep. Yeah, kind we're gonna of pick a table clustered. off to the side. Okay. A nice quiet table off to the side. I'll lead the way. I just, oh, I, oh, okay. <laughs> you find and, a table. Yep. I sit down. There's a lot spot of noise. With the, my back yeah. to the wall, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once we get there, it's just a moment of like sinking into the chair and like just relaxing myself into the moment, trying to get a feel for the room. Okay. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of people. A lot of no. chaos, but. You know, you also will definitely overhear the, the fight going on, and there's a kind of a rhythm to the mm -hmm. chanting and the crowd. and the. I'm not watching. It's eyes closed and just yeah. feeling. Yep. Oh, yeah. Anybody else? What you, uh, uh, I'll be You'll looking... know there's no table service here. Right? <laughs> I'll be looking for maybe any sort of surreptitious activity, like someone trying to pawn off uh, counterfeit goods or something, and... And uh, just get in there and, you know, I've got all sorts of counterfeit goods myself. I could counterfeit the counterfeiters and, you know, keep that whole circle going. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> you uh, make me a perception real quick. Mm -hmm. That's a three. Three? Okay. Uh, a lot of movement, a lot of people. Right now, you're kind of still... Getting a feel for the room, picking your time, and you, uh, uh, what were you doing again? I'm sorry. Just I, I sat a, down. Just sat, yep, sit sat down. And relaxing. Okay. Just trying to get him, right? Encourage him to sit down and relax a minute. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sitting down. You see me eyes closed, just kind I'm, of hands on the table, up, palms up. Okay, he's being weird. Yeah, uh, yep. 
Uh, I'm keeping my eye out for any dragoons around in the establishment. Oh, okay. So roll me a perception as well. Oh. Okay. No. No. So no. Uh, let me. I'm sorry. I can let you no. determine that. Uh, seven. Seven. Right now, <laughs> I'd say if anything, uh, looking around, uh, like you look a little bit, but your eyes keep getting drawn back just to the fight. Apparently, mm-hmm. something like it's a lot of excitement. There's sure. some. Good things happening, yep. apparently. Yep. Am I noticing that uh, Theobald seems especially squirrely or anything? Uh, roll me an insight. Oh, my. That's a 15. 15? Are you feeling particularly, no, particularly squirrely? squirrely. No. Uh, just uptight. Mm. Worried. Gosh, a moment ago I would say that's how I felt, but I kind of resolved to relax. What's going on with you? Yes, Theobald, you are telling me to relax, and you are over here with the, uh, what is the phrase, stick up your butt? It could be a black market stick if you wanted. <clears throat> oh, yes, he's telling me about this black market. Have you Salty met? It sounds gold. good. <laughs> 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 just need to see how we how the results are did i use that phrase we did not do very well with the oh you're doing great fight. with sentinel oh, okay good it's been a while since i've been in a fight this one didn't go particularly well mm. it's not I, the worst one i've been in i do agree what, what is these gentlemen over here are doing in the in in, in this in this thing uh most likely gambling they are gambling exercising yes mm. Mm. Back in my uh, monastery, this is what you would call training, but this seems far more violent. It's a kind of training. Mm. You're testing yourself against the champions. Good stuff, huh? Yeah, you can just see the wheels kind of turning <laughs> in his head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not yet, but thinking, mm. watching. Um, I, I will just keep an eye on that, looking for someone, anybody who might seem like a, like an honorable opponent <laughs> okay worthy or honor well worthy slash honorable okay uh, um or well, is it mostly dirty fighting oh no uh, it's right now i'm not even gonna make you roll for it um if you're actually gonna specifically look at the fight yeah i'm, wa- I'm, I'm kind of watching it yeah uh right now there's actually uh two fighters mm-hmm. uh, it, and it's slightly you know recessed into the ground just a little bit only about like three feet so you know um, but if you're actually looking, you'll see that right now there's two combatants. One is actually a very large black furred minotaur. Mm. Standing there, knuckles bloody, little uh, blood coming out of the nostrils. And it's kind of hard to tell at first, kind of looking, because you don't see anybody in there right away. Sure. But eventually, just through you know them moving around... You'll see maybe five foot even mm. this black skinned drow girl. Okay. Who is. Actually, you could roll me an insight. Okay, all right. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. I think I might know who this is 17. 17. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That is moving around and. Uh, definitely as the Minotaur comes in with this big just club of an overhand oh. strike, just twists, spins, and you can just see, just using just the knuckles, is just going pop, 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 moving, spinning out, and it is very much uh, a martial arts style that you at least can appreciate, if not know 100%. You've seen it that style before. Okay. Uh, this is someone who is very much trained in uh, hand-to-hand martial combat. Okay. And she's quick. Mm-hmm. And at first, you when you first looked at it, it was like, oh, okay, he's going to win. And then you see that it's like, she doesn't look like she's been touched yet. Mm-hmm. And there's a, I mean, they're Spirit shouting kills. and, you know, and she's just moving and looks, she hasn't even broken a sweat. And she is taking her time tearing this Minotaur apart. Mm-hmm. Depending on how long you watch, 
I'm gonna study. I'm. I'm not. I don't care so much about the the Minotaur. He seems oafish and sluggish to me. Mm-hmm. I'm. I am locked on to the movements, and I'm not even watching the face. I'm watching how she's, mm-hmm. how exactly she's applying these these arts. I'm. Okay. I'm trying to pick it apart. Okay. See, educational. Uh, yes, he's very educational. Don't are you staying here? Hey, what? Stay here with him a minute. I'm gonna go up. All right. Are you still in that? Start position? moving up towards the bar. Oh no no no! I, I'm watching. I'm more arms crossed in front of me like this, just watching very intently. Mm. Okay. You make your way to the bar. Yeah. I'm uh, three ales. Uh, two, three ales and a. <laughs> he doesn't even know what the word is. I don't know what to get. For. Yo. Lunsetsuno wants or a mead or some sort of light stuff like that. What is what? What's your fanciest? Fanciest. Um, uh, kind of looks around a little bit and any fruity, fruity too. Oh, <laughs> sugar. Uh, he kind of he's like, uh, yeah, hold, hold on, hold on. And he order Luna sassy werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> holds up a bottle and just blows some of the dust off of it. I got a red wine. That's good. <laughs> All right. Pops it open. Pours two mm. ales and a red wine. <laughs> hey, um. Okay. Uh, it'll be right now, just for simplicity, I'll say a gold. Uh, and he's just like, you drop down a gold and he's like, he's like, I'll take care of next round. All right. Take my three ales and my. Two ales and your. Two ales yeah. and whatever you poured the wine in. <laughs> Find another male like, head back. Okay. Make your way back. During all this... Keep my eyes open for... Yep. Yep. Uh, you'll see as you're watching, uh, you come back, set down the mugs, and you get back just for the, kind of the ending of the fight. And uh, she's been playing with him oh, this yeah. whole time. And okay. just moving, dodging, hit, hit, move, until finally he actually managed to hit her once, knocking, I mean, just the weight of it, knocking her to the ground, and as she comes up, he actually just bull rushes her and slams her against the wall. Oof. You see a look of just, you can see someone is like, and I'm done now. <laughs> and just in a few vicious movements, mm-hmm. grabs him by a horn, twists him onto the ground, one strike to the knee, and you can hear the crack. Mm. Then grabbing, spinning with her entire body, wrenching his arm behind his back and another pop and then slamming her fist in the back of his head and another crack as he hits the ground i'm flinching and you'll hear the crowd just (laughs) roar Mm -hmm. and you'll hear a a guy jumps down real slimy looking human guy Mm -hmm. just he's got that just barely any hair left up top that is still being you know (laughs) pulled over (laughs) yeah (laughs) a dirty real scrawny and he'll try to grab her hand, and she immediately just kind of shrugs it off. And he's like, Lady Midnight, everyone! Yeah, another great performance! Get this slime out of here! Ten minutes, and then you can start betting for our next match! And she'll hop out of the ring and head to one of the bars. Excuse me, gentlemen. Ale and Ghost Render. I... I, I, I this may have to wait just a moment and I, I get up and I start wading through the crowd to try and find this 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 drow okay uh, you make your way through where's he going <laughs> now you're, now he's into it I don't know <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't take much you're pretty big yeah uh, and it's, so you make your way speaking of which am I having to duck through any of this mechanism oh no it's still high it's, it's high still enough. high okay. ceilings it's I mean They're from where the actual mechanism bit fighting mechan- minutes mechan- bars <laughs> yeah I suppose <laughs> yeah I mean it's probably a good 25 feet up oh to the my. top of the ceiling and okay. it drops down about 5 feet in the first set of contraptions to move around the, so it's like there's plenty of the engineer space. in me is like oh man how is this even possible like I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Great, I forgot that, so now i got to make sure things make sense. <laughs> when I say My next character things, is going to be a gnome tinkerer. I'm just going to say something, you're like, that's not possible, actually. <laughs> Let me actually touch. The stress is on that, would you believe that? Make your way over, and yep. you'll see uh, she's sitting at the bar. Yep. No one is really 
within about 10 feet of her, they wide berth, you know. Sure. And uh, she's sitting there and looks like she's drinking some ale. Uh, she's putting back uh, just kind of a leather jacket okay. over. Of course. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, uh, madam, if I am not interrupting, may I join you for a moment? Uh, she turns and looks at you, and now without the hood she had yeah. up, and I'm... Uh, you can see she's got uh, dark purple hair mm -hmm. with kind of like that undercut thing going on and off yep. on one side. Uh, and really bright purple eyes. Do I recognize anything about this? I don't know. I mean, does she seem familiar to you? A little bit, yeah. A little? A little bit, yeah. Who are you thinking? Freya. Oh, Freya. Okay. This is not Freya. She, all right. Oh, cool. I was really hopeful. <laughs> I, I understand. Um, so she kind of, you, mm -hmm. you're giving her like, it's like, oh, yeah, like, I know you were thinking you know. Ah. And she, can I, what do you want? You are displaying a uh, fantastic amount of uh, martial prowess up there. I, I, I simply wish to admire it and uh, speak to the person. Is he fanboying? Who I is uh, think providing this some musical accompaniment? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when the moon hits you. <laughs> Give me a minute, let's see how Where did goes. you learn uh, your skills, may I ask? <laughs> Roll me a persuasion check. Oh, sure. Uh, okay, not awful. Um, a natural 20? What? 17. <laughs> 17. 17? Yes. She kind of... Buy me another drink and maybe I'll talk. All right, fair enough. And I head back to the table and pick up whatever goblet. Uh, thank you for this. And I, I head back over. <laughs> Woo! He moves fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Monk speed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she, she's sitting there and uh, she just finishes her ale, sets it down. I'm not sure if this is uh, in your repertoire, if it were. Just, and... just down it. One. It is good enough. Set it down. Yeah. Um, you want to know where I learned to fight? I've learned to fight a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. um, I guess... Spent a little time when I was younger at a monastery up north, um, but that was decades ago. Hmm. Oh, What's it to you? A nothing. I am. Uh, well, it is not nothing. Look you I up am... and down. Oh no, you're not one of them, are you? Big grin. <laughs> am I hearing this? Um. It's far enough away that, I mean, give me a roll at disadvantage. It's still a loud bar and you're far enough away. No, I didn't hear it. Okay. <laughs> so you're I not, am not here, you're to, not here to do one of your reclaimer mission things, right? No, 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 no. I am here for a different reason. I, my mentaling does not bring me here to bring anyone back. However, I do wish to appreciate... The speed that at which you dispatched your opponent, it is quite incredible. I would suggest perhaps not quite so violent. It, uh, it is nice when your opponent can get back up at the end. Right. It is honorable. Yeah, yeah, you're still fully involved, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe when... Well, how are you out? Did you leave too, or were you kicked out... Or... I was not kicked out. My mentaling required me to go out and bring other people into the open way. Oh, you're one of those. You're a hundred percent. You're Do a I know this? Do... I mean, basically. Yeah. I mean, your official positioning is an ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not quite a recruiter, but uh, oh, I no, believe the sweetie, title is... That's an... what you are. Spread the word. Bring them back if they have uh, potential, right? And I... Yeah. Seems and to be uh... hitting it off. Yeah. He's doing well. <laughs> Let me tell you, yet. when you spend enough time <laughs> in the real world, you're going to find out most people, most people, not even just the mean ones, some of the nice ones, would rather kill you than help you. And you'll find out real quick that you can't save everyone. Well, I and like some people to... deserve to die. Hmm. Yeah, suddenly the nice demeanor is gone, and I'm very stone-faced, straight. Whoops. Looking at her. My bad. Sorry about that. the mic. I get it. You're <laughs> upset. <laughs> mm. I am sorry it has come to this that you have forgotten 
the ways that trained you. Oh, no, I haven't forgotten the open way. I've just learned a better way. Mm -hmm. And it's my way. Because the open way, once I was out here, didn't put food in my belly. It didn't stop people from taking advantage of me. You know what did? This. I'm glad you have those to help you. I hope one day you're able to find uh, your way back. It was a good fight to watch. You do fight well. I am glad to have seen that. Oh, she just raised her fist. Unless you, yeah, like going south. Unless you have, want to buy me another drink, I think your time's up there, recruiter. Okay. Thank you for your time. And I, uh, I just go back. Hey, word of advice. Try not to piss off the wrong people. I really don't want to get paid to kill you. And she'll turn back towards the bar. It could have gone worse. And I head back over to the group. And I sit down. A little colder than before, but you sitting. You're doing so well. and well, I've been drinking, so I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> I thought perhaps I knew her. It uh, appears I do not, but I know where she is from. Lady Midnight. She done shut our good friend down. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun already, I see. No, she is from a uh, place where I trained. I recognize the movements from anywhere, really. It, uh, she is from the Open Way Monastery that I am from. You're from the Open Way Monastery? Yes, a, yeah, two months north from here. Have you told me this before? I don't think so, no. None um, of you, sh actually, none of you would know this. Well, I've heard of this monastery. It's oh, up yeah. North. You know yeah. it. You know where it is. Bunch Specifically, of fanatics. you've actually, on a few occasions, probably... Uh, Stayed at the Abbey for... Over no, no, but... Uh, Potentially, like if there were refugees, uh, yeah. it is just, it's like, it's not due north of mm. the city, no. but it's, you know, just a little to the west. And so, like north, depending northwest. on what's going on, that might have been a place, some refugees that Where we send them. Yeah. We're direct them to for help. Yep. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. So, yeah, I know about the open way monastery. No mm. wonder she gave you the cold shoulder. Yes. It seems she has fallen away. It is the way the weird works some days. We cannot all be expected to be the nicest of people. However, I do not wish to give up my ideals because the world is mean. Did you get her name? I did not. I figured it best to just leave it at that. You were doing so well. I uh, will is not the way I would put it there, Theobald. She began very cold at the end. Seeing as, uh, as I know both of you, you at least would have a passing uh, knowledge of what the open way is. Uh, you, with some of your looking into things, uh, know probably a smidgen more. Um, do you want to explain uh, roughly what the open way oh. is? Yeah, so the open way is uh, a, a monastery that I'm from. Um, they practice um, the conservation of, of all life. They, everybody can be... Um, reborn if you will I don't, I don't know that that's quite the right word however anybody's worth a second chance um no one is a lost cause um and all life is precious um you try and save as many things as you can um i was as stated here sent as an ambassador after my mantling um by my master just an explanation mm -hmm. for people wondering <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys are, uh, anything else uh, happening here? Uh, or do we want no, to kind of flash forward to uh, the next morning? I don't know about these guys. I'm just kind of watching people and uh, biding my time. Just half keeping an eye on the on the drow. Yep. Just making sure everything's going okay over there. Yep. No, quiet night. Yep. Quiet night. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping mom because I don't want to talk about the monastery. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I understand. Uh, yeah. So would I? I... Uh, it's, I can't ask that. Nope. Okay. All right. Wrap up. Head back to where we're. Yep. I don't so know where the Good night... Sense Gnome is staying, but we'll we'll see him off to that and mm. where we're I don't know where I'm staying. <laughs> as a bar well, as a... there, there. I mean, basically, there were barracks there that you were. Oh, oh yeah. perfect. All right. Within yep. so the actual to... thing, it was just okay. kind of a you can get out tonight. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you make your way back. Um, Fair enough. Night goes on. Whether how much, how little you drank. Oh, at one point I'd have given you the gold back for the drink that you tried to give me. <laughs> Just keep it. I... Okay. Okay. Uh, 
not much happens through uh, with uh, Lady Midnight. She's there for, depending on how long you're there, she sits by the bar by herself for about an hour and eventually fights again. Mm. And uh, fairly similar showing. Uh, she enjoys playing with people until she's tired and then she's quick and lethal. You guys would catch me. She is just wasting her talents in there. You, uh, you, yeah. Whether you choose to respond to that, yeah, or no, not, but, but no, but you, not. you should go try to convince her again. <laughs> Maybe get her no. name this time. <laughs> I think I got a phony phone number. <laughs> um, Seven. So Is that a real yeah. phone number? <laughs> well, it was the early days of numbers. You know? yeah, yeah. Seven. No. Oh. Yep. Dragonlock five five five. <laughs> Everyone knows that's fake when they start with it. <laughs> so you make your way back. You sleep the night. Yep. Uh, next morning, uh, there, there's a little, uh, you know, kind of quiet energy. Mm-hmm. Just everybody's eating and wondering what's, you know, how everything's going to kind of work its way out. Um, at a certain point, you, uh, Dagnar will usher you all into a separate room. Uh, it's when you enter this room, think a little bit like a very small version of kind of uh, like amphitheater style seating and all that <clears throat> with a podium at the very bottom. So think some of your college courses or, you know, <laughs> things like that. <clears throat> You'll, and it's a, it's a fairly small room. It's made for probably less than 20 people mm. to be able to s- sit there. Um, you all find a place and sit. Uh, and after a short period of time, Dagnar will kind of, uh, all right, all right, all right. So I know you're all wondering uh, how this is going to turn out for all of you. And due to the fact that we had uh, really only one of you that really literally blew our hair back, um, uh, we've decided to extend a probationary membership to all of you. You'll have for, uh, full access to the actual uh, scale-bound facility while you're here. We, uh, but we'd like to see what you can do in an actual real scenario. So, uh, each of you, I will give you, and he'll, as he walks around, he'll give you a wooden token that has on it, embossed on it, an anvil. And the anvil looks like it's circled by, like, clouds. Each of you receives one. <clears throat> He's like, all right, go and take this to uh, the Lady of the Cliffs Blacksmith Forge. Uh, Alice will take care of you. What this will do is you can uh, requisition one item from her. Uh Normally, none of you would be able to afford anything she has. But, for the fact that we are going to actually send you on to uh, potentially something dangerous, figure we might as well at least uh, replace a broken stick, or at least give you a shot at not dying. So, good luck everybody, and uh, maybe next time... uh, I don't know. I'll be less annoyed by all of you. And he'll walk oh, out. <laughs> that Dagnar is such a nice guy. <laughs> you and I are getting very different impressions of the same <laughs> man. In his room, he loves show tunes. He just can't. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to admit how much he loved the music. <laughs> He's humming the, nice. the tune I sang to himself. <laughs> Four heads are better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So, after a brief amount of time, you guys talking, whatever, uh, you'll make your way, I'm assuming, to Lady of the Cliffs. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you three will arrive there. Uh, the others didn't seem to go immediately. They kind of, kind of disappointed a little bit that uh, it felt like a little bit of a put off. Uh, but you make your way. When you arrive, uh, you are now the fancier section, or one of the fancier sections of the city in the Cliffs District. Uh, right on the edge of the Cliffs District, 
uh, more on the actual river district. Uh, it's a you know good hour or so journey through the Stones District to actually make your way to one of the transitional like kind of uh, half lifts through the lock system. Uh, you make your way up there, come through, and when you get there, uh, she's right alongside the actual river, and there's like a nice high wall that actually separates the actual uh, business areas of the district from the actual river, mm-hmm. and. As you walk in, think of some of like uh, a really fancy uh, version of like a, a, a cloister. You're familiar with what a cloisters is? Mm-hmm. It's kind of a garden with all the pillars and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, except in the middle is this fabulous, huge forge that has bellows and it goes, it wraps up and actually uh, connects to the wall of the river. Uh, and you see. On the sides, there's actually two streams of water that comes in into a trough and circles back, and it seems like it's almost cycling through. In the middle, a fire that is just billowing, and there almost seems to be like with uh, like metal buckets that is kind of coming down, digging into all the coals and cycling it and rotating around and then repouring the bottom coals onto the top coals and really circulating the air and the heat so it's a very controlled heat when you get there there's also going to be you've got all these racks along the sides of kind of making a wall from the outside you can't really see what's going on in the shop but there's no roof over it and when you come in through you can see gorgeous gorgeous armors and uh, swords and I mean all sorts of armaments and weaponry and it's not that they're like gleaming or glittering but the craftsmanship Mm. you are very quickly even into the most you know common commoner who walks in you can tell you are in the workshop of an artist sitting off to the side you actually see there is a woman with uh, hair put up red hair And blue eyes sitting with an apron on, dress, leg crossed with a cup of tea. That's sitting there, looks like she's going over like uh, some either orders or just writing some things down. Doesn't immediately notice any of you until she finally looks up and sees you and she's like, Oh, hello! We've got some new visitors. Oh, good, good. Come on in, gents. Come on, come on. Oh, you're a big one, I can see. <laughs> How can I help all of you? Welcome to the Lady of the Cliffs. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. I'm currently trying to pay attention, but, like, the eyes are wandering past the rows, like, an, a, a certain amount so, of appreciation. Yeah, as you're looking around, she's like, hey, hey there, big boy. My eyes are right here. You don't have to look at my goods all the time. My name's Alice. How can I help you? What's your names? Calendan. Nice to meet you. Calendan. Pleasure to meet you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Salas. Theobald. Theobald. Happy to meet you. Glad for coming in. And I'm and you... Alice. I am... My name is Loom Sensenome, and I bow very deeply to her. She kind of curtsy bow back. Loom Sensenome. It's a pleasure. Glad all of you made it. I'm glad I don't have no roof on here. You would have hit your head otherwise. <laughs> How can I help all of you? Well, I am not sure about these two gentlemen. However, I uh, am a quarter staff short. Uh, it looks like you deal mostly in metals, though. I, I, I do do mostly metals. Uh, but I do uh, uh, do a little uh, trade and have some uh, others that do a little of the crafting that uh, we kind of work together on i do not need anything fancy just something that will work and will stand up to a few good hits all right all right uh what particular uh, sort of weapon you're looking for basically a walking stick hi okay yeah yeah you, so do you normally come to you know um like a painting gallery to look at uh finger drawings <laughs> i understand that uh, the request is a little Strange. However, do you not adorn uh, some of your uh, weaponry with um, wooden handles? Oh, absolutely. Of course I do. But I do a little bit more, and uh, I'm... <laughs> How much are you willing to pay, I guess? Let's start there. 
the scale bound I, I, guild. I, I, I have to be a hum- hold out the coin. The scale bound Oh, scale bound boys. Okay, she'll grab that. She's like, why didn't you say so? Uh, Theobald is a little smarter of the world's ways than I am. Well, kind of. She's like, you look a little uh, more worn there. Um, soldier, right? Mm. Mm. Yep, I've seen your type many times. Keep your fingers where I can see them. <laughs> I kind of thought, thought like she just a little tap. She's like, oh, it's fine. So uh, she'll kind of reach out to grab each of yours. She's like, all right. So I can set you up with a little bit better than a walking stick. Oh, fantastic. I, I will gladly take whatever you can hand or give to me. Okay, okay, okay. Um, She'll call out. She's like, Cal, come here. Get some measurements on him. I want to see how tall this boy is. And wingspan. This would be fun for me as well. I do not actually know. <laughs> how about you two? What are you looking for? Uh, you know, like uh, like Lynn Sensenome said, you seem to work mostly in metals. And I kind of like to keep stuff loose and not, uh, you know, constricted. Uh, you got any metal work that can help me do that and help me from, uh, dying, not dying? <laughs> okay. A uh, little loose, uh, loose clothing, but more, I, I, I think we got something we can work with. Oh, could you also accompany it with a mask that kind of looks like this? And I bring out my old combat performance wrestling mask. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like a luchador mask. Have basically. we seen this? She'll what? take it and she's like, oh, okay. I think I might have seen one of your fights or two. Oh, I'm sure you have. All right. When do you need it by? I might be able to do a little bit uh, custom work on something. Uh, I like the sound of that, so I'm not going to rush you. And thank you very much. All right. And she'll, cow, get it. You know what? Get all of their measurements. We're going to need them all. And you, soldier. I don't know how far this carries, but a breastplate or, if not, studded leather. All right, all right. Um, well, I've got breastplates. I've got uh, studded armor. I mean, uh, what do you... What, um, what would you do you fancy? Do you have anything that's not shiny in terms of breastplates? I do have a few things. Are you looking uh, not shiny uh, let's or... With, let's stay with studded leather, perhaps. Are you sure? So, yeah. Something that keeps allows me to move. All right, all right. You should probably get a mask too. <laughs> I have matching masks. You all might may look good in it. Uh, uh, you've got a. Do you have like a breastplate with like a dollar sheen on it? Oh, I do. I also have a few that I've actually made that actually have a, a leather wrapping that's actually uh, done over them. Ah, oh, perfect. That'd be perfect. All right. Um, Seeing as I got a little bit of custom work, let's get your measurements, and uh, we'll get you set up. Uh, if you don't mind giving me, a, you know, at least an hour, uh, maybe. Uh, well, I understand this is a little late. However, our friend, I just remembered this, found a wonderful chunk of wood from a library earlier. He was trying to fix. Uh, <laughs> perhaps my stick could be made of a similar similar material. Hey, what wood? Oh, I'll show it to her because I don't I don't know what it's called. Oh, ironwood. Yeah. I got lots of ironwood. Fair enough. I would love an ironwood quarter stuff. That takes a We're so lucky to have each other. <laughs> yes, lucky is what I would call it. <laughs> That'll take a, a little bit more time than an uh, hour uh, if you if want something for uh, you. Uh, and uh, mm. um, But I, I still think I have a few things that'll work. I don't some... know of any time that I'm going to need a quarter staff within the next day, day or so. These are good enough for now. Excellent. Then uh, see you all in like an hour. Uh, Go, walk around. Enough. Enjoy. Uh, I, before we leave, I'm actually going to... Uh, thank you. I am now going to uh, um, actually look at some of these, like actually admiring the craftsmanship, um, knowing my background. <laughs> yep. um, n- not touching... But definitely inspecting. Okay. Um, roll me <clears throat> a uh, an intelligence check with profi- proficiency. 
<sighs> I know. His intelligence is... Wow. Mm. This dice is not doing me bad. Um, okay. Intelligence with proficiency. 30-20. 30-20. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you've seen uh, at least one particular uh, version of a actual metal weave. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you recall. Mm-hmm. Um, you, like... You've because you've been shown how that one is kind of done. Uh-huh. Um, you don't know what this weave is, but okay. you know a weave now when you see one. Sure. Yeah. Most of these things that are on the shelf are all a weave. Yeah, it's that alone is just like wow. Like yep. it stuns me just a little bit. Yeah, it, it, it's. I mean. One or two things, it's like, oh, that's something special. Obviously, yeah. you know, top shelf kind of you know quality. But it's like, they're not in special cases. They're not like set aside. It's this just is like just for how every, she does. Yeah, it's just her work. Le Dallas, your work is incredible. I I do not know how else to say it. Uh, continue with the good work. It is fantastic to see people that put such a craftsmanship into their work. Thank you. I, I don't. I don't mind uh, getting praised a little bit, especially when uh, handsome fellows like you are looking at my goods. So, thank you. <laughs> she, unless anybody has any. No. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna just empty my pocket and say, will any of this help make anything special? I've got empty vials. I've got the unknown blue gem. I've got Ooh. ironwood. I've got the shark spit. I've got corpse spider venom. I've got. Flask of green liqueur. Where I've did got you get all of this bad stuff? guano. <laughs> She's just looking down. Where did all of these come from? <laughs> you are not a large man. <laughs> I, I, I see you uh been getting acquainted with Leech. <laughs> Leech, yeah, good guy. Oh, he he's the best. Um Wow. <laughs> yeah, the bad guano right here. <laughs> that uh, that was particularly uh helpful. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. What did he put in you? Um, what or take out? Uh, Are we li- talking about the? the, the oh the, the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Huh. I think it was called a a a, 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 a bumber tumber summer bug or. He was called a parasol bug. Parasol, parasol bug. He put a bloody parasol in you. Yeah, nice guy, isn't he? <laughs> if it wasn't for him, oh. I would have been totally gotten by a g- g- ghost. Perhaps we need a muzzle for him so are he you, stops eating. Ren. Are you boys officially? I can actually sew that into the mask. <laughs> are you boys officially members yet? I uh, believe we are under a probation area. That's official enough. Yeah, keep an attitude and open mind like that. You'll fit in just fine. <laughs> All of you boys are a little crazy. I, do not consider I have to get to work, though, if I'm going to meet this deadline. So if you don't mind, I'll be off. Thank you. Another deep bow and okay. out the yep. door. I reclaim all my items. Head off to the... <laughs> <laughs> it takes them about uh, another 20 the minutes to put everything yeah, back. Wall, right? There's plenty of shops. Soldier, plenty yeah. of you. Wait. Mm-hmm. Hurry up and wait. Yep, hurry up and wait. Oh, so can I look around? That, that flask I have that came from Terrafin, the strange guy that you guys don't seem to recall much about hmm. uh, is just uh, I'm fixated on it I want to see if I find anything similar as I look around okay hmm. um, yeah there's plenty of like antique shops up here mm-hmm. there's plenty of uh, fine like uh, where you can get like uh, you know pictures and you know like silver working type places like oh. really fancy stuff up here too okay. uh, everything from higher end general store to very specific shops okay so uh make me just a just a general luck roll luck roll. yeah just a d20 okay that's a 12 12 okay um you walk around uh you'll find uh, a shop that actually has uh like you'll kind of catch your eye because you'll see like uh uh, an actually really nice made uh, like silver flask that's actually sitting on a display Mm -hmm. right right inside the door and you'll go in you'll see a wide variety of different things that it's like and when you kind of are looking at it and looking at things and it's like yours doesn't seem like you look at your flask and compare it it's just like where it's like yeah this is really nicely made stuff I don't know if this one was made or just is it's like it seems like 
a cut above the rest. Hmm. Any quality that you can find in this shop, it like, oh, my kid made me a coffee mug. Okay. And <laughs> this is store-bought, you know? <laughs> There's uh, a difference, you know? <laughs> my gosh, one of those... So You still love the mug. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> If I look around and I'm confident that I can get away with it, I'll just take that flask for further in guess investigation later. Otherwise, I'll just buy it. All right, make me a sleight of hand check if you're going to try and uh, swipe it. Should I do the swipe perception or, or investigation it. or whatever uh, you first? You want to look around or... first to see if anyone's watching you? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Make me a perception check. All right. Uh, that's not good. Four. Four? No one's looking, man. Hmm. Okay, sleight of hand then. Okay. Yeah. That's a 19. Ooh. So, you, you know, real quick, look around. And pocket it. And as you walk out the door, all of a sudden there's a hand on your shoulder. Oi. Hey, uh, I've seen you around here before, haven't I? And I'll just kind of throw him off a bit. Oh, hey, Jerry, I'm busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't named this NPC. Even or odds. Oh, yeah! I'll give you a 50 50. Odds. <laughs> Only because of the name you chose. <laughs> odds? Who is Jerry? Oh, <laughs> Roll Dang. Oh. Yeah. I wanted it to be two. <laughs> yeah, it would have been so yeah. good. Oh, it would have been so good. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? What's up? Uh, what, what are you doing? You look uh, a little shifty. Oh, I am shifty. I am. I guarantee you I'm pretty shifty. But right now... You looking to steal from me? No. How could I steal from you? You're right here in front of me. Yeah. Keeping you... an eye on greasy-fingered people like you. Oh, do you generally have a problem with people like that? Look at my stuff. Kind of, look at my stuff. Uh... Yeah. People try to steal from me all the time. I sell nice stuff. Yeah. I can see that. You're right. You're on to me. I had a past that was a little shady, but now I'm a consultant and I advise shopkeepers on that kind of thing. How uh, how interested uh, would you be to, uh, you know... Roll me a deception first. Okay. So that's a oh, that's 24. Roll me a persuasion. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a 15. Okay. He's like, so do you turn it around? Well, I, I generally think that's a good idea. You can only get in trouble so many times, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I've, I've, I've got a nephew who's, hmm. uh, no matter how many times I tell my sister he's going to get in trouble. I mean, yeah. it's probably just. So, a... okay, okay, consulting. What do, you, what do you do? Tell me. Well. You know, I'd have to take a good look at the facility, the grounds, uh, get a sense of your ins and outs, entry points, uh, weak spots. You know, criminals look for various vulnerabilities, and um, you don't want to be caught unawares with that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's, I mean, do I mean, I get it, you're a consultant, um, just free of charge, what do you see that's just blaringly obvious because I, mm. I thought I got a pretty good setup here. Ah, yeah, you, it's, it's, it's all right. We can always use improvement. So here's what I suggest. All right. All right. You want to, uh, your, you know, your point of sale. Okay. Yeah. Right. You in don't want to make the customers that. nervous as soon as they walk in. So you should probably face away from the door. What, but, how, how, like, I like to always, you know, like, how you doing, you know, when people come in. And yeah. I was about to do that to you, but I saw you, might, you just it, had a look in your eye. It seems counterintuitive. I get it. But you just kind of put people off. I guarantee you sales will go up through the roof. Oh, God. Keep your own sales off. <laughs> What's your name, friend? My name. My name. Keith. Dis or, uh, de deception with advantage. <laughs> He doesn't oh, need it. Nat twenty. Keith. Keith. Sorry. Keith. Keith. My apologies. <laughs> I'll try. Um, 
you live around here? I mean, you come back sometime? Uh, I'll, maybe we could... Uh, uh, you know, you know it depends on, on full consulting, maybe if this. Uh, sure, it depends on what level you want to subscribe to the service. I guess if you how often you would like me to come back and you know audit sales and such, uh, it's up to you. All right, yeah, but we'll talk about it. Uh, maybe come back next week. I'll try uh, your uh, uh, suggestion. <laughs> next week sounds good. All right, you're a smart guy. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you, Keith. Ke Appreciate you. Right. Uh, he's gonna walk into the back of the thing, and you'll see him like standing at the thing. Oh wait, wait, wait! Keep, uh, so hold on. Did I get his name? No, you did not answer. Okay, so I need your name first of all. Oh, Harris. Harris, nice to meet you, Harris. Um, you know, my original reason for coming into the shop was to pick up something nice for the wife. You think it'd throw me a little discount? Yeah. I... You know what? Roll me a persuasion. Mm -hmm. With advantage at this point, because I've been rolling <laughs> so horrible for his intelligence okay, checks so and insights. That's Oof. still a 10? 10? Yeah. Okay, I, 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 well, you don't tell anybody, Keith. <laughs> it's because it's you. Hmm? <laughs> I can give you half off. And he'll kind of pull out a little display. It's got some necklaces and stuff. He's like, huh? normally these are all like... 20 gold, I'll do 10. Wow. There's some nice, you know, some like little rubies. And Harris, stuff. this you've been holding out. Why yeah. don't you put these in the window? Honestly, this is more of my hobby. I do more of the silver work. It's nice work. What I got into, I, I like to tinker with these on the side. Okay. You know, I feel bad asking for a discount. I'll just pay full price. You, you put some real loving care into these, obviously. Keith. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> oh my god. So you gonna buy one? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. So what uh like there's sapphire like they're they're all fairly simple, but they have an actual decent, you know, little mm -hmm. gem in them. So there's what? sapphire, there's ruby, there's uh uh what other ones? You are Ooh, ridiculous. Is he got pants? <laughs> yeah, oh he's enjoying himself very much. So am I though. Uh twenty gold ish. <laughs> 20 gold um it'll be a little bit larger of mm -hmm. a actual gem so you, uh, a necklace with a is there anything gold... is there anything that's just uh like a little off from the normal that just you know is uh yeah i'll go for that a little off from the... there's one that actually is uh it looks like it might have been like a first attempt mm -hmm. but it's actually a, a diamond a real small one but that actually seems to be on uh, set with like the diamond is like in a real like uh like uh um, real I'm trying to think of the right word for it i don't know jewelry <laughs> <laughs> basically there's a pearl with a diamond at the top it makes it look almost like a teardrop they're oh, like set no. together yeah. uh yeah no not that one not that one okay you're gonna make me keep working here <laughs> yeah <laughs> um you tell me just 20 some gold worth doesn't um, wouldn't look like the today's fashion type of... You bought a oh. necklace with a gem that you tell me in the future what it is. How okay. about that? You can describe it and do that part. Right on. Uh, it... Um, so I'm I tell you what I'm trying to... You don't have to do it no, now okay. if you don't want to either. <laughs> Anything that just looks mystical. Okay. A little bit even. That looks... Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, let me. I'll just make a roll. It's higher than ten. There's something that looks a little off. Higher than fifteen. There's something that it's obviously still mundane, but it's like it actually is like, oh, that's really you know, a two. So it's all fairly mundane mm -hmm. looking. So still works. Still works. Okay. All right. So you I'll now have a happily. Yeah. Thank you. Have, keep, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you next week. <laughs> He's also super and excited. You start to walk, and he'll be like, Keith! Someone! And when you turn around, he's facing the wall, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous, So you man. guys killed an hour. <laughs> Wait, we were all with him? Oh, I don't know. You could have been outside. Mm -hmm. He could have torn off by himself. Like, Was there something oh, you wanted to cover in that hour? No, not really. Just outside, maybe trying to tell random people about the open way 
attempting my oh, job as ambassador. Have you heard the Lord? Okay. Yeah, basically. Oh, roll me uh, just a general. Uh, I don't want to. Let's okay. We're gonna start with performance because oh, it's a sales course. pitch. Still, there's a yeah, small amount of you're yeah, on a street yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hare Krishna, or, you know, whatever your... The dice gods love me. It's a 19. 19, okay. No modifier? Uh, that's with the modifier. Oh, with the... Okay. Yes. All right. So, you have... You're, you know, standing on a street corner, and you're, you know, you actually, whether it be just your size, uh-huh. uh, being a little exotic, being a Goliath... Sure. Uh, and start talking about like, hey, excuse me, you know, have you have you heard of the open way? And I was Madame like, over here, have you heard of the open way? The, the the benefits you can get by joining us. Yeah, and whether it be mix of those things, uh, you get a few people who actually stop and just kind of you know like, they're like okay, yeah, tell tell me more, you know. And uh-huh. what, so uh, you're a monk of some sort, but you're a Goliath. Yes, it is a long story short. As they took me in, they taught me the ways of nurturing and loving the other people around you and bringing compassion for life but then also knowing how to protect yourself inside of dangerous situations without hurting the other person too much it is all about second chances it's all about <laughs> revival all about living your best life Roll me persuasion okay not awful um 13 total 13 okay no. they'll be like okay you know like like for the most part people like listen it's like oh thank you you know it's like I'll think about that, you know. But there's a few. There's there's like one or two teenagers Mm. who are just standing there. So is uh, you got a shop or something you're gonna open up around here so we can come? I am not trying to sell you anything. I am simply trying to uh, recruit uh, for the open way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of people who recruit things around here. There's lots of guilds. This town's full of them. Like we're just wondering where where do we sign up to uh, learn how to uh, live our best lives and punch people. Unfortunately, you do not learn these things here. Uh, the actual monastery is uh, yeah, roughly two months north of here. Uh, I could send you on the right way if you really, truly want to uh, make an attempt at joining us. So are you off somewhere? I'm not off? far outside of your shop. Like, oh, I watched yeah. you walk inside. I'm like, eh. Two of them, two of the team, they're kind of like, two months? Huh. And just kind of start to walk away. One of them is still standing there and is just like, okay, so, like, is it, like, for a summer? Or, like... Unfortunately... Because, like, I have to ask my mom and dad if I could do that, actually. Like, dad's got a shop that... Like, Perhaps I would suggest waiting until you are of an age where you can make this decision for yourself. <laughs> it is not a short-term commitment. This is lifelong. Are you a cult... <laughs> My dad warned me about people who are cults. They seem nice. Unfortunately, the definition of cult does not quite fit here. We are not crazy fanatics who constantly preach our own thing. Although I can see where you're getting that idea now that I think about it. All right. Not a cult. Not a cult. Although that is what someone from a cult would say to someone who is asking if it is a cult. So, Right. <laughs> they totally would. Would they also tell me that the person who was not in a cult, who could be in a cult, would say that? Now you I got to think about this. Now you're <laughs> thinking. So I'm I'm joining Theobald and seeing what he's doing, and I'm Confusing not using teenagers. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't hear what you're doing, so yeah. so I'm like, I'm convinced he keeps trying to hit on women or something. I go up to Theobald. What is he trying to do? Turn last night's failure into? I don't know. Success? Or? Are you are you like watching me over here? I don't know. Oh, he's catching like the back end of my spiel. <laughs> he's just doing this what a soldier does, which is used to just like I'm killing time by just standing here. I know how to just I'll pass the time. I'll scenery watch. Yeah. Meanwhile, I don't know how. It's like Jesus. Oh. You know? <laughs> <For> sure. <laughs> he's not getting salesman of the year award. That's for sure. <laughs> You gotta work on the fish. <laughs> um, Anal. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. It is uh, nine ten. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna end there for the night. Oh, cool. Uh, what we will do is next time when we pick back up on next Tuesday, uh, seven wow, p.m. as fast. well. We will uh, reconvene as you all re-enter 
Lady of the Cliffs Forge mm. and meet with Alice as she has uh, new gear for people. Awesome. So, until next time, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> Man, that was... Thank you.